Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to create and deploy quick virtual machine on Microsoft Azure. So I have logged into my Microsoft Azure account. There was nothing created for now. And the first thing I am going to create deploy a virtual machine in my infrastructure virtual infrastructure on Microsoft Azure. So click on virtual machine. On all item we don't have we have only default directory which is created by default in when you sign up in the Microsoft Azure so go to virtual machine and create virtual machine so we have two option here under the virtual machine creation from gallery and quick so for now I'm going to deploy virtual machine by quick method and later on I am going to deploy a uh, virtual machine by from gallery so quick create and here you have to select the name like I am going to select my AUDM VM01 and let's find the like uh, available uh, DNS name for on a cloud app.net and here you can see the image so for now I'm going to deploy Windows over 2012 uh, to data center region and I'm going to select my plan for like you can see mm, 2 core and 7 GB memory and my username for Windows login and my credentials definitely so I am putting my password here and the reason where I want to deploy so I just want to go with uh, all the deployment in central US so done and click on create a virtual machine so now you can see here the creating the first it's creating the storage account here because we are going to deploy a virtual machine by quick so it will deploy the storage account then it will deploy a cloud service then it will uh, create a virtual machine under that cloud services so here you can see successfully created a storage account for radium hyphen vm hyphen zero one so setting up virtual machine if we go here storage it will give you the storage after of a few minutes storage account so just wait to dip finish the deployment so here you can see starting and provisioning provisioning is deploying the virtual machine on the Hyper-V host which is uh, running on the Microsoft Azure platform so just wait for a few seconds it will take uh, like uh, one or two minutes to deploy the virtual machine so you can see successfully created virtual machine ADM so provisioning the virtual machine and it means the virtual machine has been created successfully and now it's provisioning the hard drive from the image of the which is created by Microsoft so it will take some time so now you can see the status is starting so just wait for a few more time So here you can see successful created virtual machine and the task successfully created storage account successfully created virtual machine successfully provisioned virtual machine successfully installed the extension and a virtual machine so click ok seems everything good and now you can see the status is running and to connect with the, this virtual machine you have to click on connect so it will basically download the um, RDP file for your machine and click OK so here you can see the RDP file is downloaded click on it so the remote computer which is our DNS name here so click on connect and now you can see it's asking for credential you can put the simple credential here which we have created at the time put it at the time of creating the virtual machine take some time so 
so just want to give you the option and here you can see the restart button which will re are you here want to restart the virtual machine so it will restart your virtual machine and this button is to create or shut down the server but you notice if you continue the IP address that we are assigned to this virtual machine will be released that means that uh, IP address which uh, whatever is uh, like provided for like public and uh, private IP address both are released and we have attach we can attach the empty disk hard drive here and capture means something like uh, capturing the virtual machine image we can create like modify the image and we can create the image so I will uh, explain these things also and next video and delete definitely delete the attached hard disk clip the attached hard disk so we can delete the all delete the virtual machine by running uh, by deleting the all the hard drive or the keeping the hard drive and delete the virtual machine only so let's see here so we have logged into our server and if you go here on local server click on local server you can see the computer name which we have created adm hyphen vm hyphen zero one and the machine is an oh, workgroup domain workgroup not in domain and if you click on ip address ethernet we have multiple IP address here if we check so the IP address is coming from DSCP and the default gateway DNS everything is mentioned here so it's connected with our like the virtual switch so it looks good and close it and for here you can see the product ID and uh, Windows is activated actually there was no need to activate windows by yourself and if you go here you can see also the busy info is running on the desktop will give you the internal IP, internal IP address and public IP address which is connected uh, uh, by using which IP you are connected with internet and the memory and the host name OS version username average detail here and the also a specified deployment ID like uh, virtual machine deployment ID for Azure VM and here you can see we have one disk attached here 127 126 GB hard drive is attached here and you can see the temporary storage is also available but the but the storage which is uh, on the temporary hard drive which is attached to your virtual machine uh, never try to uh, put something here if you shut down the server and restart or restart the virtual machine the temporary uh, storage will automatically data which is stored in temporary data uh, drive is automatically goes uh, like deleted so I'm going to put it like OS disk here and also the small demo here I want to show you which is at the empty drive and uh, let's do one thing click on virtual machine first and here you can see the virtual machine is created and the few steps so that's fine for me and now here you can see dashboard click on dashboard and you can see the read write CPU percentage everything like CPU percentage, disk, disk read write, network every detail here so you can customize from here for 24 hours for 7 days, for 1 hour whatever uh, detail you want you can see it from here and also you can see I have 20 core in my subscriptions and I have used 2 core and I have 1 disk attached to my uh, this virtual machine and if you want you can attach more so I'm going to attach one more drive like you can see first here host cache is read write OS type OS disk and my the path for like my VHD if you want to see it this is the path for my this is my storage account name actually if you want you can see it click here on a storage account It 
will take some time to reflect here so just go and refresh it if you want to see it right now so I'm going to refresh it so here you can see the storage account is created and the path is also you can verify the name and if you click here I will explain the uh, uh, like uh, storage account in another video so for just now I am going to show you the container and where our VHD file is actually stored so it's loading it's loading so here you can see the container is there and we have our uh, virtual machine hard drive here so the hard drive name and here you can verify the size everything so let's go to virtual machine click it and go to dashboard and here you can see the like the drive so I'm going to attach one more drive here for now so my drive name and read write cache and put like you can see can put a 50 GB and the drive name is should be D. so I have D drive which is temporary drive in my server which we have deployed so I'm going to put it like um, E so F drive F drive here and click on OK so here you can see attaching the MPT disk to virtual machine and same time you can see the status running updating and the host name the public IP internal IP and the size which is actually this uh, plan for virtual machine and the RDP certificates thumbprint location everything is here and subscription so good to know and if you click on like here you can see the drive is created and just go to here you can see the data disk is created and we have to mount that drive in our server so go to tools and open the computer management and click on disk management So the disk is identified you can see the and select the disk and then just click new simple volume and make it like F drive and put it my data you can use data disk 01 next and finish so Cancel it. Go to my computer and the first ones. So it's currently formatting the drive. So it's done. Go here. And you can see the 50 GB drive is mounted on the server. So good to know. And like if you want to detach the hard drive you can detach also and so this is something if you want to add any port which is you want to allow you can put it here so this things I will definitely describe on another video so here we have what we have created we have uh, we have just deployed a quick virtual machine by uh, on Microsoft Azure so Thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question just post me on my given email address thank you once again bye bye